guys I am back with the dip powder mini so as your beauty sent me over this 20 piece dip powder kit um, to feature on my channel perfect for Easter and the spring so thank you to Azure Beauty for sending me this uh, I think it's actually a 32 piece dip powder kit but it has um, 20 dip powders so let's go ahead and get into the kit this is what comes in their standard um, 20 piece or 32 piece kit you get a um, after service card you get a card with the color difference showing you um, if you apply one coat two coat versus three coats to the nail that comes in this particular um, size kit it comes with dip powder instructions your standard dip powder instructions um oh, excuse me how to hiccup and it also in the kit it came with um, a little bag with two replacement brushes a file a cuticle pusher a little nail brush it came with the french dip tray a buffing block it came with your dip liquids so your base your activator your top coat and your brush saver small bottles and then um, it comes with a total of 20 dip powder colors and this kit can be found on amazon as your beauty products are sold on amazon these are nice um vibrant kind of pastel colors perfect for again for spring and easter and so the kit currently retails for $25.99 on Amazon and here are the colors again I thought they were really pretty so guys we're going to go ahead and get into this application I have some full coverage nail tips here from Unagella and I decided to use four of the colors in the kit one is a white one is kind of like a light pink purple a blue and a pink glitter and so I will be using the dip liquids that came in the kit that they sent over and so since these are regular dip liquids I do have on my respirator because I am unfortunately one of those individuals that will uh, develop dip flu if I don't wear a respirator when using regular dip liquids and so with the full coverage nail tips I'm not going all the way down to the cuticle area right away because I don't want the cuticle area to be bulky so I just um apply dip base to part of the nail dip it and then I use the nail brush that came in the kit to brush off excess dip powder I'm going again with a um, another layer of dip base and this time I'm going all the way to the cuticle area of that nail and I do a total of three um, dip powder applications or three layers of dip powder on each of the nails um, being careful not to go the first layer I don't go all the way to the cuticle area of that full coverage nail tip and it was just fine no I don't show all three layers on camera I do for this initial nail just so you can kind of see the nail is not bulky and so you'll see me periodically show you the entire nail because it's not bulky at all
So after I get the solid color nails down, I'm going in with the glitter. This was a really pretty glitter. It was uh, more like a translucent um, pink glitter. Once I got it on the nail, it was pink with silver glitter um, in there. And so this is the nail that got a little bulky because again, I'm, I started at the cuticle area, even though I applied the dip base thinly because I didn't do this nail like the other ones that did become a little bit bulky, but it was fine. Nothing that, you know, fouling and buffing would not fix. And I don't know if you can see, you're gonna be able to see the cuticle area difference once I put these nails on. I do go in and encapsulate the glitter nail in clear. This is a clear that I bought from Amazon from the Azure Beauty Shop. Um, and so I'm just encapsulating that glitter nail. This will protect protect the glitter from uh, turning colors once I activate and do my fouling and buffing because this particular kit did not have a clear dip powder in it. So I just used the big jar that I have and it's inexpensive. These powders apply well. The dip liquids, I do have the bigger bottles. I have the two-in-one base and top coat that you can use as a dip base and a dip top coat and an activator and bigger bottles but I wanted to use the liquids and the dip powder that came in the kit. So here are the nails after filing and buffing and I did remove excess filing dust and I have some decals um, I got these off a of shop from Etsy and they're too big like I got you can get small and regular and I'm like whose nails are this big and so I decided to go in with the little um, decal with the bunny inside of the egg at the end of the day when this mani was done it gave me uh, gender reveal nails because they were pink and blue um, instead of like Easter spring nails but you know whatever works and so I'm spraying that decal and y'all I messed up I sprayed the decal and I thought I was gonna use that big bunny decal psych and I'm like why is this not sticking to the nail why I never had this problem y'all because I forgot to apply my sticky base coat and I was like what are you doing and I had it sitting right there on my desk so got grab my sticky base coat applied that to the nail allow that to get tacky I give I gave it about maybe 30 seconds and then um I applied the decal to the nail and I end up with the big bunny I thought maybe it would fit on the thumbnail it didn't it was too freaking big and I was so mad because I thought he was cute um and so I apply um the little Easter egg with the bunny on the middle nail and that thumbnail I end up just taking that off and applying some rhinestones Initially, I thought I was going to put some stickers on here too, but psych. 
So I'm going in. I did not use Azure Beauty's um, dip top coat because um, I just didn't want to. Plus, I knew I was going to apply some rhinestones. The top coat works well. It's nice and shiny. Don't get me wrong. Um, I've used it before with no problems whatsoever. But I am going in with Luxie Nail Hema Free Gel Top Coat that requires curing and a UV LED lamp. Now, with the water slide decal, if you want to use dip top coat, I would recommend you do like a smudge free top coat from like Maniology let that dry activate and do, then do your normal two layers of um dip top coat and so coming up um i did apply the rhinestones off camera so coming up are the finished nails again that thumbnail is a little torn with the rhinestones i was just putting them all over the place a combination of blue and pink um again that's why i said give me uh gender reveal uh nails but you know whatever i still thought they were pretty nice and shiny and so I'm, i applied these nails with some sticky tabs and so i took these off the next day and so um here are the nails um I, they came out great the dip Powders are great. Thank you to Azure Beauty for sending me um, this dip kit. And so, guys, please like this video if you found value. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think and subscribe to my channel. It is free 99 still. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.